Hey, it's Jason, your cruise host, and here we are finally all back together again on the 70s Rock and Romance Cruise, celebrating our fifth anniversary. We made it! It's been two years since we sailed together, so you know we got the party started the minute we boarded. Everyone was so excited to be back together again, making up for lost time and reuniting with old friends. This is our second Rock and Romance cruise, and we could not wait to get back here for this. We're seeing friends from two years ago, and it's like a reunion. It is so good. I'm so excited because we're all reunited. There's music going on already, and we're gonna have a great time. level is phenomenal. It's been nothing but non-stop fun and it's only the first night. Our 2022 sailing featured incredible performances from the bands that rocked your world and your heart. lucky and I was able to be way up front and and all of a sudden the lead singer just comes up and he's like holding my hand and he's singing and I'm just like that was like heaven it's just pure heaven it was just insane I'm all out of love. I'm so lost without you I know you were right believing for so long I'm all out of love what am I without you I can't be too late It's nothing like listening to the entertainers that bring you back to your day. It's like a giant time machine. You're going back in time, they get to see all this music that, 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 that have all these memories attached to them. And I think we can make it one more time if we try, if we try. One more time for all the old times. Waiting for the break of day. Searching for something to say. Searching light against the sky. Even up I close my eyes. Everybody has a commonality. Everybody has a passion for the music. It's almost as if you're related to these people by the thread of rock and roll music. Well, I'm taking my time. I'm just moving on. You forget about me after I've been gone. And I'll take what I find. I don't want no more. Just outside of your front door.
The ship transformed into a music festival at sea with hit-packed shows and our favorite music filling every venue. Pool is my favorite place to play, and Papa Jay always says, you know, that's this is our best gig of the year. So every year, so yeah. we're always looking forward to it. You and I been in love too long to worry about tomorrow. Here's a place where we both belong. What I love best about Rock and Romance Cruise is just being so intimate. It's like they're doing a personal concert just for you. I don't know no love songs, and I can't sing the blues anymore. Hey, but I can sing this song, and you can sing. Send me camel to bed Shadows painting our faces Traces of romance in our head She comes out of the sun in a silk dress Running just like watercolor in the rain Don't bother asking which direction She'll just tell you that she came in the year of the cats. The onslaught of bands that come at you one after the other, playing the songs you know by heart, songs you forgot that you knew by heart, and just on and on is unreal. It's overwhelming at times, to be honest with you, but it's totally what we come here for. We are stars. Sleep is secondary because at any given room, at the pool, at the Sky Lounge, at Deck 4, there's going to be something that you love and you just hope it's going to be repeated because you just want to see everything. When I was walking down the street one day
The cruise just wouldn't be the same without those incredible tribute acts that celebrate some of the greatest artists of the era. Welcome to the Uptown California. best shows I've ever seen in the group Toast, which is the best tribute to bread you can imagine. The music was beautiful, performance was awesome. The men would come around. So Kara Lee is Cher to the T. The personality, the mannerisms, you name it, the outfit, everything. If you want to live Cher, you need to see Kara Lee because she was amazing. What makes this cruise so special is getting to know the artists at more intimate events, including our Q&As and All Access Pass interviews. Wow. Guitar players, you have seventh chords, you have major seventh chords, and you have double O seventh chords. <laughs> I like the Q&A sessions because the artists open up, they tell their personal stories, and I often make connections with them. They're from my era. So when I was 15 years old, I was playing in uh, what they used to call the combat zone in Boston, which is the adult entertainment area. And, uh, we, it's a good we, place to be when you're 15, I'm sure. 15, it, it was called the Novelty Bar, and there was uh, go-go girls in cages on either side <laughs> of the band. And, you know, I'm 15 years old, I'm, and, I, and the owner of the club would come up with a cigar in his mouth, quit looking at the girls! <laughs> so I call, hey Chris, good morning, it's Wayne Nelson, I'm with Little River Band, and we're, we're making a change to the band, I'm just interested if you would like to come and audition and talk it through and play whatever. F off, yeah. I know what you're doing, bang! And he, and he hung, hangs up on me. I, I did. Well, now, <laughs> they had just gone on it they had gone a weekend trip and they were car karaokeing different bands they had lrb's greatest hits in the cd and they were you know singing along about so he got back and he was sure that he was being punked on monday morning so i called him back and i said no really don't hang up i'm really in the band or whatever he says oh, i'm so sorry man I'm like, i'll meet you anywhere anytime let's do this oh my god yeah. close it was close very close when you see all these wonderful artists that tell us so many intimate things about themselves, <laughs> it just makes the, the albums we heard when we were kids come alive. When we put the record out, we were called, I believe at that time, Chad Allen, which is very English sounding, yeah. and the expressions. And uh, George Struth from Quality Records in Canada had the idea, well, if we can't get it played, let's just put guess who question mark. On, on the label, and they sent it out like that. And uh, disc jockeys just would, would say, and now here's Shaken All Over by the Guess Who. So that was it that was done for us. We really didn't like it that much because of the confusion between us and the Who. But, but I know later on, they got asked to play it so many times. <laughs> they, it, 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 
If you check out their live at Leeds album, they actually recorded it on, on that no album. No kidding. Yeah. yeah. I love these interviews. And I learned so much about the, about the artist and everything. And I mean, I just love it. It's fantastic. I was 15 years old and dad brought me and Darren to Vegas and said, I've got a, uh, I've got a, a special treat for you. You're going to be in the percussion stand on stage with Elvis. At 15 years old, Darren went to the first show, I went to the second one. The percussionist said, you want to look like you're doing something? So I said, yeah, he gave me a tambourine. So the Sweet Inspirations come out to warm it up, and I remember they played Getaway, Earth, Wind, and Fire. Get away! And all of a sudden, all of a sudden, Elvis, and I go, and I thought, these things, these tambourines cut. If I mess this up, and all of a sudden I throw it off, and this guy goes, who's that throwing me off back there? Jerry's son, is that Jerry's son messing me up with that tambourine? <laughs> I lied for about a year and told people I played with Elvis, but I didn't. I haired out. I didn't, I didn't do one ch with that tambourine because I didn't want to throw this guy off. Darren, however, I asked him recently, Wailing I said, up. I knew this, I knew this. And as the older brother who always wanted to win, I said, let me ask you something. Did you keep playing? He goes, absolutely. I go, you played with Elvis and I didn't. Let's kill him. But I was on stage with him. They've been really funny and really great. And I love that the artists tend to stay afterwards and sign autographs and converse with you. They're genuine. They love meeting the fans. I have never experienced anything like the Rock and Romance Cruise. Last night we got the drumstick from Little River Band. Tonight we got the set list from Jason Chef. We get them all to sign and, and they're all happy to do it. You know, and they thank us for coming on, which I think is just amazing. The cruise is unique in that you can interact with the artists. I love meeting people. This is my, my favorite part of the gig is hanging around and saying hi to people. We mix and mingle with the performers and say hi to them in the hallways. It's so much fun. The band enjoy everybody else's music too. So we can actually mix with them, whether it's in the bars or whether it's down by the pool. Wherever you go, the bands are there as well, so everybody gets a feel of everything that's going on. You're surrounded by amazing musicians. It's just a boatload of fun. These eyes cry every night. Our theme nights took us back in time to relive the fashion and memories of the era. And I gotta say, you all really brought the looks. We just have a great time getting ready, putting it together, looking for the right things to wear. It's been so much fun. some of the costumes like Malibu Barbie. And to bring it on the plane and bring it to the ship, that's pretty incredible. I'm Ozzy Osbourne. And I'm Janice. And uh, we have costumes for all nights, so um, it did take about a month to get all of it prepared. <laughs> that is on 
rock and romance that Star Vista does is absolutely the best. I mean, it's absolutely the best. It's never a dull moment, and there's a show after show after show. You're rocking, you're rolling, you're singing, you're dancing, you're meeting people. It just doesn't get better than this. And we brought the feel-good vibes to the beautiful Caribbean ports of St. Martin and St. Thomas. Well, when we get off on the islands, it's, it's fun to see what's unique for that each individual island. The beaches are beautiful. The water is so many different shades of blue. We just got off here at St. Martin, and we are planning on having a wonderful day, uh, planning some excursions, doing some shopping, uh, sightseeing, getting some fresh air. Everything's related to music. You could eat at the Jimmy Buffet, <laughs> the Beatles exercise area, swim in the Liverpool, <laughs> and even the bathrooms go into an Elton John. <laughs> oh, sure, you may have to drop a Rocket Man, maybe release a ye little yellow brick road. <laughs> and of course, you come out feeling like Captain Fantastic. <laughs> and the brown dirt cowboy. There you go, exactly. <laughs> Don't forget. <laughs> don't know if we've had a comedian win before, but awfully close. Nope. Let's hear for Mark for being our winner today. It was really exciting. It was thrilling. The audience was full. They were supportive. It was a great time. And I've already signed up to come back next year. And I can't wait for it. <laughs> and since it was our fifth anniversary, you know we had to add some surprises. Boston in a hot tub on a ship with amazing people, cocktails in hand, smiles everywhere, everybody's getting sun kissed, it's just amazing. Yeah, what a way to finish up the week. I mean, it's just spectacular. To him be able to come out and do this yeah. extra show, that is just super, super. And, yeah, we thank and, uh, you. We really, really appreciate it. And uh, we're having such a blast, such a blast. Our 2022 cruise was the reunion we all needed. Seven days of non-stop partying and rocking out to the greatest tunes from the past. If you don't do this, you ain't living. It's the music, it's the people, it's the ambiance, it's the spirit. Everybody gets along, everybody has a beautiful time, and there's not any place else we would rather be. We're already in countdown mode. 
uh, to March 16th, 2023. We can't wait to come back next year. It's hard to believe we'll have to wait a whole year to be back here and to be with our friends and see all the band members again. We'll be coming back to the 70s rock and romance cruise until we're probably in our 70s, huh? <laughs> Next year, we can't believe we're going to be here again. We're going to see the orchestra again. We're going to hear all the great ELO songs again. And we're going to see Don Felder. We're going to see Jefferson Starship. Great lineup next year. Everyone needs to be here. This is our fifth year. We're coming back next year and we'll continue to come back till we can't rock anymore. You just can't beat it. Uh, you know, we're, we're lifers forever for this. This is gonna be, it's, it's our tradition. We just have an awesome time. We can't wait for our sixth cruise. A year from now, we will be here. I hope you can be with us too. We can't wait to do it all over again with you next year. See you next time on the 70s Rock and Romance Cruise 2023.